I mean, um, with stuff like uh, the United Nations and how there's the unions in Europe, the European Union, you can tell ultimately that all acts of war, state, are acts of war. <coughs> this is something that Ryan Falk says 20,000 times, it became his catchphrase. I don't know if that's a quote that he made up, but he's the most standard first person for saying it on the interwebs. And it goes without truth. I mean, when people think about war, they think about something that's military or just an arbitrary conflict. But in actuality, war is um, a specific kind of conflict. There's a fine line between wars and conflicts. And that's that a conflict is just two opposing forces, yet a war is a conflict where one force tries to end the other force, eliminate the other force, or vice versa. <coughs> <coughs> In actuality, um, it's that's what the states try to do. The states try and engage in this warfare to end that which um, goes against their ideals. Ideals, and for us, that's um, state capitalism, which would translate into non-free market corporatism. Although not. A lot of people who are Marxists who might watch my videos would agree with that terminology, but whether or not you consider that capitalist, it's not free market. I mean, states funded slave states, state feudalisms, and state capitalism. Those are like the big three that came one after the other. And it shows that heavy contrast where they just try to eliminate one thing that they don't like. And they go together sometimes. They form these unions that they try to get rid of what they don't like. Specifically, they don't like um, non-democratic places or that which gets in the way of their wealth. Of these nations. The thing is, the people look at wars. I said this before in this video as something that's um a military. That's why they think that the United Nations is good. The United Nations doesn't have um guns or missiles or things of that nature. They're not like shooting people. They're just speaking. But really, it's just the same status agenda. It's warfare, just minus the military. The thing is that military conflicts are actually good sometimes. It's good to have a military conflict. Because a military conflict for defensive purposes only is a good thing. You know, just to make sure that invaders don't destroy a place. But to engage in constant warfare, or warfare for the purposes of uh, something like the state, specifically state capitalism. Keep in mind, I'm a capitalist, but I'm more of a free market person than before than the capitalists. Um, that's just the way things go. In actuality, states really are constantly act in this state of warfare because even domestically they're with the corporatist and state capitalist nature they're trying to eliminate competition that goes against their side. They're <coughs> trying to create these um, state-run monopolies. I mean, they might not always try to do this for everyone, but they're always doing this. May not be for everyone, but they're always in this action. Uh, you can see with the MTAs, the trains, the networking is state monopolize it's something you would expect to be a natural monopoly but not in the same usage monopoly that's going on with states right now 
and you can tell that the MTA New York um, Metropolitan Train System is kind of screwed up. It's very dirty over there. The schedules never come on time. Trains never go on time. And it's just more of the same with warfare, trying to eliminate the little guy. As soon as the little guy's eliminated, they start to blame another up and comer, and not the real big guy who's in trouble, and um, it just keeps going. And with war nations, it's the same situation. But these aren't conspiracies. Just because they don't um, speak about it out in the public doesn't mean that it isn't the same old shit wrapped in a different non see through bag. And you can tell it's the same shit because it has the same residue. <coughs> <coughs> so really, militaries aren't the problem. Um, the problem's the state and state warfare. That's the true issue. And this video is very vague, very rambly. The lighting isn't very good. But I did my best with this one. Um, I uploaded the first one and I'm probably going to upload this one too. Two videos in one day. Reminiscent of the summer vacation I just had a while ago. But anyway, I'm done.